friends we shall see the circuit of flip flop the two basic circuits we shall see rs flip flop using nor gates first and then rs flip flop using nand gates now this is the circuit of rs flip flop using nor gates now here we can see the two inputs r and s that is reset and set both are in a zero zero condition i now start the circuit simulation will start here now you can see both inputs are zero zero and therefore the outputs are locked in a particular random state q bar is now 1 because it is red and q is 0 because it is green now we make another combination we make r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 so the flip flop is set now q becomes 1 it is red now and q bar is 0 now we make r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0 so the flip flop is now reset q bar becomes 1 and q becomes 0 and when we make both inputs 1 in that case both outputs q and q bar become equal that is they are showing 0 0 which is actually the absurd condition according to boolean algebra so this state we call as forbidden state so if we revise all the four states like this then this is called the no change state that or the last state of the flip flop and this is the set state then this is called the reset state and this is called the forbidden state of rs flip flop now coming to the next circuit that is uh, the flip flop rs flip flop using nand gates now in this state you can see both inputs are right now 0 0 so the outputs are 1 1 so this in this uh, flip flop circuit it's 330 the first uh, the first state itself is called the forbidden state now i make ac is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 so now the flip flop is set and q becomes 1 and q bar becomes 0 now if i make r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0 then the condition at the output alters now q bar is 1 and q is 0 this is the reset state of the flip flop and when we make both inputs as 1 1 in that case the output doesn't change this is called the no change state of the flip flop so in that way these are the two basic rs flip flop circuits using nor gate and nand gates thank you